Hey YouTubers, well, got another video review for you. This is pretty much a follow-up. Uh, this is on a company called First American Home Warranty. And, you know, if you're, you know, in the boat like I am, and you want to have some sort of insurance, you know, in case your hot water heater busts, or, you know, your AC unit goes out, or your stove or refrigerator, or any of that kind of stuff, you know, you automatically want to get a home warranty. And so my AC unit in my house was getting a little older, so I thought, well, let's get a home warranty. That way I'll be covered, right? That's what you think. I had filed a claim with First American, and they sent a technician out on April the 18th of 2022. And the guy looked at it, and then they wanted a second opinion. They sent another technician out, and they both said the same thing. Inside... Um, the house here is the air handler and inside the air handler is a coil and the coil had developed a leak a pinhole leak and leaked out all the freon and so the unit on the insides uh, about probably I'm guessing 15 years old now my unit on the outsides just a couple years old it's brand new it's a brand new Goodman unit but as far as the uh, unit inside it's a, an older ream unit and so they said that they were going to replace my air handler just replace the coil the blower the, everything uh, just replace the whole air handler and so uh i thought well you know we're getting somewhere they're gonna you know do a good job and you know get it all replaced and now i'll have a whole brand new ac unit indoors and out so i was pretty excited about it but let me fast forward before i get too far into the story and tell you it's been a hundred and eight days and nothing has been done um, just nothing but lie after lie after lie after lie and so let me tell you what happened so I told you they sent the technician out they told me they were going to replace the the air handler and so they told me that one had been ordered first American promised me they had one on the way I've got it in emails and I've got it in a voicemail uh, you know and you know they they claimed that they had one well they never did uh, that was just a lie just to hold me over they never had any air handler and let me tell you how I know that's a fact the fact is is that place where my air handler goes in my closet inside my house is a pretty narrow doorway getting into it and uh, so the air handler that is in there is pretty small it has to be 17 inches 17 and a half inches uh, wide or smaller to be able to get into that area so anyways, uh, um, long story short, uh, they told me that they ordered one. Well, they didn't. Um, they said that, you know, that they, they finally spoke up and said, well, we can just replace the coil. I'm like, no, you guys told me you were replacing the air handler, and I've been waiting for over a month and been without air. And so I want you guys to do what you said you were going to do and replace the whole air handler instead of just putting a new coal in it so I don't have to deal with this down the road so they were like well they don't make one that fits in that confined area we checked and your units a, a ream unit and they don't make that unit anymore okay I told you I'd bring you in here and show you what I'm talking about you can see it's my hallway and there's my thermostat and down below it is my uh, return vent and then you can see right here is my bathroom so when you walk in the bathroom and you can see when I close the door behind me there's another door right here behind that door and that's the access to the air handler in my closet and you can see this thing's got some age to it it's an old ream unit and uh, you can see it's sitting right on top of this uh, air box right in here. And I just wanted to show you that there's not much room. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a tight fit in here. So in order to replace this, you know, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, it's going to require some some uh, confined space, you know, to get, get this in. And, you know, you're going to have to work a little extra to to get it fitted in here and and do all the plumbing and all that get it wired up yeah I understand it's gonna be a little extra work but you know 
that's just it is what it is it's just part of it but you can see right there there's the model number and they told me that they didn't make this unit no more and so I called and confirmed with Ream. They don't they don't make this unit anymore, but they do have parts that you can get uh, to repair it. You know, new coils and new uh, this that and the other, new blower motors and all this to to repair the HVAC, uh, the air handler. But you know that's besides the point. First American told me, hey, we're we are going to replace the air handler. We already have one on order. And uh, even my technician, I asked him, I said, so what would you do? Would you replace the coil? Or would you replace the air handler? And he said, well, you know, the, you'll be having a hard time trying to find an air handler to put in there. Um, but if it was me and I could find an air handler that would fit, I would much rather, you know, uh, replace the air handler because it's going to be more efficient and new and everything, you know, it's going to be brand new on the inside of it. Your blower, your, your control board, your heat strips your coils, everything. So I thought, well, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. So first Americans like, no, 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 just just replace the coil in it now. They changed their tune from, yep, we've already got one and it's been ordered and, you know, um, we're gonna replace it to now, just please, Mr. Melton, uh, just let us replace the coil. And I'm like, no, it's already, you guys have held me up for two months already and, uh, or longer than that, over two months and, told me y'all were replacing the whole air handler and now you want to just replace the coil and what happens if something else goes wrong with it down the road I'm gonna be sitting here with no air conditioning and I'm gonna be in the same boat so uh, anyways they were, they were like well we can't we don't we we can't find an uh, a uh, a unit that'll fit in this tight space because that's what the problem was, was being able to find one to fit in this little tight uh, doorway. Because the HVAC guy's like, I can replace it, but I don't want to get into this construction part of tearing your walls up. Because you, as you can see, my walls are nicely painted and every, all the trim looks good. There ain't no scratches on the walls, even on this side. I mean, it's, it's a nice little uh, bathroom. You can see the flooring's new. But anyways... The, the contractor was like, you know, I don't want to go in there and have to get into any kind of construction. And so pretty much um, the thought of, you know, replacing the whole um, air handler just kind of went out the door. They just wanted to replace the coil. Well, I got on the Internet and started doing some Google searching. And I found out that they make uh, a air handler that will fit in confined space but from another brand. Uh, and all I did was a Google search and found it. Come to find out, a company called Goodman, which is what outdoor unit I have, uh, they actually make a air handler that'll fit, that's 17 and a half inches wide, that'll fit in this space, and it's the same depth. Now, it is a little bit higher. It's a little bit taller of a unit, but, you know, there's plenty enough room in there to, to modify it and make it fit. And uh, so I sent it over to First American and said, hey, how about this one right here? Can y'all check with the technician and see if it'll work? Well, never even never even answered my question. Never said, hey, thanks for looking and finding the one that we needed. Um, thank you for, you know, doing all the work for us and tracking one down. And, you know, I told them where they could buy it, told them the model number, told them the dimensions, and said, all you need to do is check with the technician and see if it'll fit. And haven't that responded but they did finally say that they ordered it now i did tell them before they even ordered you know check with the technician and make sure that this will will fit never even responded but anyways long story short they say that they've got it and uh they the technician has it but in the meantime he ended up getting covid and that's been a couple weeks ago so i've been waiting for him to get better and they sent me first american sent me a message like two or three days ago like three three days three or four days ago and said uh brian your technician is going to be reaching out he's feeling a little bit better and uh they're going to be replacing your uh air handler and i said okay so what uh uncovered cost am i going to have associated with it 
because I don't want there to be no surprises because you guys have lied to me. You know, every breath, every chance they could get, they've lied to me about replacing stuff and time frame when they're going to replace stuff. And so I just don't trust First American. So anyways, they were like, well, we, we don't know. We don't know what uncovered cost there's going to be. Uh, you'll have to ask the technician. I'm like, are you serious? The technician don't know or First American don't know. Y'all are just going to, you know, blindside me with a bunch of charges. And so, you know, they won't even answer me. So I, I asked for the president's uh, First American Home Warranty uh, uh, direct number. Man, I get ignored. Uh, they won't give it to me. Uh, they just ignore my emails and uh, this, that, and other. And so uh, I've already emailed the president. He didn't even respond to me. He put a woman uh, named Shannon uh, to handle me, and she's the one that's been, you know, just <laughs> telling me one thing after the after the next, and half the shit is not right what she's telling me, and and uh, you know. It's just been a big freaking mess. And so anyways, um, I'm waiting now to see if uh, they're going to come and 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 uh, put this air handler in or if they're still jerking me around. And it, like I said, it's already been um, 108 days. It, today is August the 4th, 2022, and the first time the technician came out was April the 18th. So 108 days. Practically most of the summer I've been without... Uh, air conditioning and if you're wondering you know here in Tennessee uh, like a few weeks ago we were having a hundred and five degree heat index does first American care nope I told them they don't care at all uh, they don't respond uh, to your messages very quick and you know they leave you hanging and they'll tell you whatever they want you to to you know keep you on the hook and then it's just it's just a lie so anyways we'll see if they're going to come out see if they're going to replace the unit in my closet and see what kind of bs uncovered cost uh, is associated with it now truthfully uh, as far as first american you know it, with it being over 108 days you would think that they would say you know this guy's really been nice he hadn't tried to sue us he hadn't turned us in yet um, to the Better Business Bureau, the Attorney General's Office, or, or any of this kind of stuff. And, you know, we, we should probably just pick up those uncovered costs uh, since, you know, we've been screwing him over for, you know, over three months now. And, you know, just just do what's right. Nah, uh, they, won't, they won't be honest with me and tell me what the uncovered costs are going to be. And, you know, so who knows? Who knows what it's going to be when the technician gets out here and you know we'll just have to wait and see i guess because the president of first american won't message me and if you think i'm full of crap about first american being a joke of a company uh, let me direct your attention to a facebook group yep the name of the facebook group is first american home warranty sucks and there is 1100 plus members in this group and you know right here at the very top they've got the uh, uh, information it's the uh, email address to the president Matthew Wendell and then uh, there's uh, a bunch of other information there and you know just today uh, a woman posted she says today I've had it with First American Home Warranty I had filed claims with the Better Business Bureau, the Attorney General, and the Insurance Regulatory Commission. In addition to that lodged in complaint on Facebook and Yelp, I have no idea if any of these efforts would prove of any use, but at least I got rid of some of my frustration. Has anyone had success uh, with them acknowledging responsibility well I can tell you that two months ago I posted a YouTube video uh, of my review of them uh, on their Facebook page every day and multiple times and they didn't care I sent it to the president didn't even care didn't even <laughs> didn't even message me back and you can see people are commenting right in here and you can see some of their s stuff they're saying they're a piece of shit company and this that and the other so I'm definitely not the only one that feels this way about first American home warranty and it's 
one right after the next. It's just one complaint right after the next of how First American's screwing people over and this, that, and other. So we'll see. We'll see if the they take care of me and uh, do what they say that they're going to do. And just to show you, uh, let me go back here. I'll show you my my video that I posted a couple months back and I'll tell you when it was you can see my video right there first American home warranty sucks and it's just been two months ago hadn't really tried pushing the video to get a whole lot of views on it or anything I just figured I'd let nature take its course but you can see I released the video on May the 23rd and you know put it up on there Facebook page and you know it didn't even phase them so anyways I'm gonna keep making YouTube videos and uh, you know if they screw me over with a bunch of uncovered cost I'll make sure to let you guys know and uh, you know until then you know just keep on keeping on uh, message them keep reporting them and you know if you got to take these people to small claims court it might be worth it to you because they're just you know just a horrible company they really are so anyways uh, if you're thinking about getting a home warranty best thing you do is just take your money put it in a savings account because you know it's going to cost you roughly six seven hundred bucks for the home warranty for a year and if you just put that money in a savings account you might not even need it the first year and then next year you'll take that six or seven hundred bucks and you'll double it and you know just keep on putting it away and if you happen to need it then you'll have it you might put a little bit more uh, into your repair at first, but trust me, it's going to be worth, uh, you know, not doing like I have and not had uh, air conditioning all summer. So, anyways, don't take my word for it. There's 1,100 other people on here complaining. So, you know, there's got to be something to this. But, anyways, as far as I'm concerned, First American Home Warranty sucks and I'm done with them. Done. Anyways, uh, I hope this video helps uh, somebody out and keeps them from uh, making a mistake that, that I have and, and uh, trusting in First American. And, you know, it's it's just been a headache. It's not worth having the home warranty company if they're not going to do what they say they're going to do and keep lying to you. And truthfully, I've probably had to send, I don't know, 30 or 40 emails already. <laughs> and they... I've, for nothing I mean there's they've absolutely done nothing so anyways if you're on the fence about getting the home warranty it's not worth it it's not worth the hassle talk to you guys later and I appreciate you watching the my video make sure you like and subscribe to my channel next time you see one of those uh, commercials on Facebook for first American home warranty make sure you take my video and post it on their page and uh, let them know you know the, you guys are full of crap and y'all ain't really going to help people like you say you do. So, have a good one, guys.